Hello there, my Sagittarius Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius, you got the tower cards, general energy around you. Oh, I don't feel like that's all that dramatic, Sagittarius. Watch your favorite astrologer, whatever you pay attention to. Uh, be mindful of the vibes as well. There's upgraded energy with you, Sagittarius. You just got to make sure you're tapping into it. So interesting sort of switch up in vibes with you. Oh, what did I say, Sagittarius? So what is this about with regard to you, Sagittarius? What are you doing right now? Uh, you could be parting ways with two or more people. There could be a switch up around you. Those of you, when it comes to the work that you do, Sagittarius, you could be making decisions that's kind of keeping that negative energy away from you as well. So, damn Sagittarius. I also don't feel like that tower is your energy. So, damn Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords. So what do we got over this? There's the Eight of Pentacles. There's the Six of Pentacles. There's the Page of Cups. So who is dependent upon you? Sagittarius. Who keeps, like, uh, taking advantage of you or getting opportunities off of you? Uh, some of you could be choosing to do your own thing, and that makes a switch up here with regard to you, Sagittarius. We are going into retrograde. It does start the day, so... There's the Page of Cups. There's the High Priestess energy. Yeah, you might feel this sort of hiccup energy. You might feel this sort of... Uh, you might feel like the ripple effects of something. Uh, some of you, this could almost be like the aftershocks uh, kind of vibe here. So definitely be be mindful of the energy you're tapping into. Yeah, someone don't like the fact. If someone was using you, someone was taking advantage of them. So, sweet Jesus. Uh, karmic energy here. There's a Page of Cups vibe. So, take that how that resonates. So, if someone was taking advantage of you, someone was taking advantage of them. So, you already got a karmic chain sort of going there, Sagittarius. So, some of y'all are... Uh, ooh, what's that Fleetwood Mac song? Never break the chain. Ooh, if you don't love me now... Ooh, never love me again. Ooh, with the King of Cups. Lord have mercy. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of the vibe you're in. So, you made an interesting choice here. This could definitely be related to the work that you do. So, those of you, if you had a workplace type vibe or connection going on, right? You've had to learn to grow. So this could be two distinct individuals taking advantage of you, Sagittarius. Or this could be if someone was taking advantage of you, someone was taking advantage of them. Lord have mercy. This is karmic energy as well. So those of you that are paying a karmic's fucking bills so they can go be with somebody else. Uh, watch your credit card payments, right? Watch your uh, statements. What the fuck is this even all about with you? Basis energy here is a Leo vibes. Are you dealing with the Leo? There's the Ten of Cups. Oh, oh, Lord have mercy, look at that. Yeah, someone definitely knows that uh, there's an imbalanced energy here. I don't feel like you're in this vibe though, Sagittarius. It feels like this is like secondary to you. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo vibe here. I don't think someone is really expressing what they have to say with regard to this, Sagittarius, because it almost feels like the domino effect here. There's the Six of Cups. Ooh, Lord, Ed, some of y'all don't be taking care of some fucking ex's ex or some sort of shit like that. Uh, that Six of Cups energy there, be mindful of the karmic energy. Who the fuck buy flower, buys flowers? Um. Oh, sweet Jesus.
Be mindful of somebody regifting as well. You're in that Ace of Cups energy, but damn. Work, love, life, if this isn't romantic with you, this could be a family dynamic, this could be a friends dynamic. So, damn. Lord have mercy. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Some y'all be mindful of that X energy. So if someone went off and created a family with somebody else, they could be wanting to come back into your energy. So you're in some good vibes. Page of Cups there, the King of Cups. There's emotional maturity. Uh, what bridges those is the Five of Pentacles. Lord have mercy. You could be dealing with water sign energies here. Uh... Uh, Sagittarius, uh, that Five of Pentacles. Those of you, if you're dealing with like um, a church type event or some sort of group dynamic when it comes to you, Sagittarius, or some of you, someone could have went off and thought they were doing something like great and damn, they just done fucked up everything. So failed relationships, failed partnerships on this. But damn. What the hell is this vibe? Chariot energy, page of wands to the ace of wands. Sweet Jesus. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo energy. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Cancer energy here, but damn. I don't feel like this is your vibe. Some of you just messy ass individuals around you. Two of Cups. Queen of Swords, Two of Cups, Six of Swords. There's the Empress energy. And there's the uh, Eight of Swords and there's with the Queen of Cups. Lord have mercy. And that all ends with the Ace of Swords. So there's a lot of clarity coming in with you. Uh, the exclamation mark is the Aces here. Ten of Cups, Five of Cups, Six of Cups to the Ace of Cups. King of Cups, Five of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Page of Wands to the Ace of Wands. Over the Empress, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Two of Swords to the Ace of Swords. Sweet Jesus, then you have the Three of Swords? Yeah, all harkens back to this Three of Swords energy. Lord have mercy. Be mindful of this energy. This is definitely very karmic. I don't feel like it's your karmic vibes, though. So, damn Sagittarius. What's at the bottom of that is the Three of Wands. There's the Virgo vibe. So, Leo energy, Cancer energy, Virgo energy right here. Good Lord. So, you're dealing with people who've made choices. Something's working out on your benefit here. I feel like you have a, someone that wants to invest in you, someone that wants to sort of, um, it's almost like a wards energy with you, with that pentacle vibes. Because you've had the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords there. Four of Cups, Eight of Wands, Four of Wands, Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Swords of the, swords of the Ace of Pentacles. This is kind of let me upgrade you here. Four of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Four of Wands. Conflicting thoughts here when it comes to this uh, Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles. So there's something you need to learn. There is something you needed to learn. There is something you needed to pay attention to. Seven of Swords. There's the Two of Swords. There's the Five of Swords. This is like zero conflict when it comes to your energy. 
uh, trusting the sort of vibes here. Everything has an exclamation mark behind it. So any questions that you have uh, in regards to someone's feelings, in regards to the truth about something, in regards to moving forward, in regards to what is the smartest choice for you to make right now. You pulled off four aces here, but you need to make sure that you're making smart choices. Stay the fuck out of that karmic fucking energy, whether it's your karmic energy, Sagittarius, or someone else's. On top of all that, it's a fucking Wheel of Fortune energy. Oh. So, those of you that would take a sorry ex back and make excuses for them and clean up their mess, it's kind of like, uh, why would you do that? Why are you doing that? And what the fuck is that even about with you? Work, love, life vibes? Damn. I feel like you have all the answers that you need. Everything is kind of pronounced there with an exclamation mark. So if you're in doubt about something, you're not asking the right questions or you're not looking at something from the right perspective. I don't like that you're karmic energy, but damn. Will of Fortune energy there with the Two of Wands. Don't muck up your good energy by someone else's sort of karmic fucking vibes. This could be someone that you're dating. This could be friends, family, loved ones, anyone's in your friends group. This is a work type vibe. If you have a boss that tends to get to know their employers uh, a little too well, it could be that type of vibe. Ten of Pentacles there with the Three of Wands. Ace of Swords. There's the Two of Pentacles. Nice balanced vibe with you. There's the Page of Wands. And there's the Hangman energy. So you only stay stuck if you choose to stay stuck. So with regard to a relationship or partnership, if you know better, you know better. So damn Sagittarius. Ten of Pentacles there with that Three of Wands. This is all secondary energy with you. So be mindful of the person that cheats. Be mindful of the person that needs like ideas from you. Be mindful of the person that's always like dependent upon you. There's some sort of codependency vibe when it comes to this. Something don't work if your energy's not there. So be mindful of that. Definitely good retrograde vibes with you. So damn, bottom of the deck, Scorpio. There with the Eight of Wands. There with the Eight of Swords. There with the Eight of Cups. Lord have mercy. Some of y'all choosing to stay single. There's the Two of Cups. And there you are, Sagittarius, with the Temperance Angel. There with the Three of Pentacles. Again, punctuated with the Ace of fucking Wands here. There's the Seven of Cups. Lord have mercy. Take what's yours and leave what's not. But those of you that take an, a messy X back. This is more for those that aren't interested in the messy X. X friend, family, romantic relationship, partnership, business relationship or partnership. Strong Leo vibes on this. So you got Scorpio energy there. Eight of Swords there with the Eight of Cups. Definitely be mindful of this group dynamic. So if someone was using you, someone was using them. So there's this sort of break in that chain of a codependency here. So, damn. damn. I don't think you need all that external vibe in your life there, Sagittarius. So, makes more choice. Everything is punctuated with an ace. Ace of swords there with the ace of wands. So you know the right choices to make. So, you choose your relationships, you choose your partnerships. 
Those of you allow that stagnation to come in. If something ain't working, there's a reason. Double again with the Five of Pentacle vibes. Watch your favorite astrologer, too. Your astrology could be factoring in on this as well. It's not lack of an opportunity. It's quality of. You see that two of cups? Those are two people that don't even trust each other. So, damn. Page of Cups, Libra Energy, Empress Energy, to the Ten of Cups, to the Nine of Wands. Someone's relationship or partnership didn't work out. I don't, I don't feel like this has anything to fucking do with you, Sagittarius. Other than this would be like comeback around energy. Nine of Wands, the Judgment to the Eight of Pentacles. The lover's vibe to the knight of cups. Well, oh, you're dealing with the Lothario energy. And there's the seven of wands with the knight of pentacles. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Trust the stagnation in something. Yeah, don't get caught up in someone else's sort of karmic vibe here. So, if you like messy X energy... There you go. You're going to get plenty of that, but you already know the outcome. So, that's a choice. Everything is punctuated with an ace card. So, right? There at the Five of Swords. Lord have mercy. Queen of Pentacle energy. Baby mama, baby daddy vibes on this. Some of you, this is just about the uh, karmic connections. So, damn. Damn, Sagittarius. I don't think any of the couple vibes around you, any of this sort of group dynamic around you, is really in, like, good energy. So, sweet Jesus, Sagittarius. Someone could be taking advantage of you because they're getting taken advantage of. So, some of y'all be mindful of that. Those of you, messy relationships, messy partnerships, work, love, life vibes. Damn, look at that. You had all... You had the Eight of Swords, there's the Eight of Wands, and there's the Eight of Cups. Triple Eight vibes. Sweet Jesus, Sagittarius. Oh, you choose the relationships, you choose the partnerships. So... <laughs> it's not lack of opportunity, it's quality of. So, there's like different dynamics around you, but this don't have shit to do with you, Sagittarius. So, do be mindful if you're starting to date someone new that someone is actually single. Some of you be mindful of those karmic connections. I don't feel like this has to be your karmic energy, but if someone else has a lot of karmic vibes, they got a lot of exes, and all their exes, none of those relationships or partnerships are really all that fucking great. Keep that energy in mind. This is so secondary to you. This is so secondary to you. So, take what's yours, Sagittarius. Leave what's not. Who's wanting to come back around? Who's wanting to uh, uh, have a conversation? Some of y'all, this is baby mama, baby daddy drama. Someone coming up. Maybe someone wants more money or needs more of this because their partner isn't happy with something. It could be as simple as that. The sun there, the two of cups. I don't think you had the High Priestess energy. Oh, is someone getting readings on you? Oh, someone knows you're happy. Why do I feel like you're single or you're newly dating? Or you're thinking about dating? So if you're getting out of a relationship or partnership that you were kind of iffy about anyway, someone could not not like the fact that that's sort of switching up with you. A 
if someone was using you, someone was using them and using you. So, whatever the fuck this is, this is like a chain reaction type vibe here. So, those of you ending relationships or partnerships, yeah, when you're not the dynamic in that uh, situation anymore, it changes everything up. Who's coming around now that you're looking good? Ooh, you're dealing with people that put you, like, second place. So, just keep that energy in mind, Sagittarius. There's the Wheel of Fortune energy. There's the Ten of Cups. There's the Nine of Swords. There's the Ace of Pentacles. Everything is punctuated with an Ace fucking card with you here, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, make sure someone don't come back around just so they can take from you to give to others as well. Because this could be an ex wanting to come in, baby mama, baby daddy coming in, maybe hitting you up for money or wanting something more from you because things are going good for you now. There's bitterness in these relationships or partnerships. You're like the secondary energy. So if someone was thinking they were taking advantage of you, I don't feel like you're allowing that anymore. So now something don't work without you. This feels secondary to you. So whatever this relationship or partnership is, you were just like the secondary one. Or that's how you're at least showing up. You're like the secondary energy. So something doesn't work. Those of you that didn't fall for that fake-ass sort of connection vibe. This could be children. This could be grandchildren. This could be baby mama, baby daddy, friends, family, co-workers. Whatever the hell this energy is. Without you, they're sort of supplying their ideas. Supplying the, the sort of uh, vibe, right? Those, if it's a, uh, if if you chose to get out of a relationship or partnership with someone who was cheating on you, the excitement's not there anymore. It's kind of like there you go. So once your energy is removed, everything sort of falls the fuck apart. That's like a very fucked up vibe. Very karmic energy. This is someone who takes advantage of a situation. These are fake-ass emperor and empresses vibes. So, those of you with that open heart, right? Those of you peaceful, loving, kind vibes, right? So, this would be the grandchild that takes advantage of that because whoever they're with... Uh, wants to take advantage of the situation. This could be a child, a grandchild. This could be a friend, a family member. Some of y'all when it comes to a working situation. So if you have a boss that is, uh, promotes the people that they sleep with, but they need you to do the work that this person can't do, it's kind of like that vibe. Once you pull your energy back, I don't feel like you're the karmic in this energy, but you're the energy that kind of makes it work. So it's like the bad hire and you're the one that has to pick up the mess from the person that can't do their fucking job. Uh, it's the grandchild that wants to use their grandchild against you or the child that wants to use a grandchild against you or all that sort of fucking vibe, right? Those of you, if you share custody with a child, it's a person whose ex wants to create drama in that just to create this sort of vibe up. So just say, fuck it. Everything with you is punctuated with an ace of pentacles, so you know the decisions to make. So there's clarity when it comes to you, especially with regard to those fucked up sort of vibes. You're pulling good energy. So that's the difference here, Sagittarius. 
between being happy in relationships or partnerships or not being happy in relationships or partnerships? So it's kind of that vibe. If your ex sees that you're dating, uh, you got good opportunities coming in, right? Some of y'all, your children, if you start dating somebody so they could get a little jealous that you're changing like the family dynamic up. Some of you, those that always choose shit relationships or partnerships, and every time they talk about their relationships or partnerships, it's boo-hoo-hoo type energy that always needs you to kind of come in and create that. It's almost like a safety net vibe with you. As long as you're in the energy, something works. But as soon as you pull your energy back, it don't work anymore. So the choice is yours. If you want that karmic sort of back and forth type vibe, there you go. Those of you that are far more focused on you, you have all the answers that you need. So it's all uh, choices. You choose the relationships, you choose the partnerships. Life laundry mat. Choose your own destiny. Choices, destiny, consequences. So, damn. Some of you, there is a, a sort of childishness with this. So, you know, those of you with messy energies, those of you with messy relationships and partnerships, it's kind of like that vibe, Sagittarius. You choose them. A lot of clarity with you. Anything else for Sagittarius on this? Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. Some of you, it's like the same old thing. So... Who keeps choosing the shitty partners? Who keeps choosing the, city, the shitty decisions? Who keeps making the shitty decisions? This is so secondary to you, though, Sagittarius. So, damn. Stay out of that energy. I feel like you're blocked. So this is almost like when the karmic left, they closed the door, and so there's, there is no, like, backwards energy when it comes to you. So you're not like the scapegoat vibe. You're not the one that someone can blame. Uh, for their unhappiness. You're not the one that someone can... Oh, it's all Sagittarius. Uh-uh. Those of you in a work situation, right? Someone does a bad hire because of whatever reason. And you're not there to kind of clean up the mess. And everything kind of gets sort of figured out there in the wash. Four cups there at the world card. Watch your favorite astrologer. Be mindful of that energy there. Oh, I love your vibe, Sagittarius. So, what's your favorite astrologer? Pay attention to what you pay attention to. This is like coming through that energy. You do have a lot of stuck, stagnant energy that kind of doesn't work without you there. So, damn. Be mindful of the codependencies. Anything else for Sagittarius? So, avoid the karmic connections. Those of you that like that karmic energy, there you go. Another ride on that uh, merry-go-round if that's what you like. Not much of a difference, just more of a waste of your time. Oh, there you go. You're showing up really good, so definitely be mindful of that energy. You got strong Aquarius in your chart. Aquarius brings up a lot of that secondary energy. So if you're dating somebody, making sure they don't have a lot of karmic energy. Those of you, when it comes to friends, family, co-workers, loved ones that have a lot of karmic energy. Who has a codependency on you? So this is someone that would take advantage of you. But if someone was taking advantage of you, it's because someone was taking advantage of them. So you're already dealing with people who you shouldn't fucking trust anyway. So, keep that energy in mind. 
Yeah, I feel like this is X energy with some of you. So, damn. There's the lovers, the ten of swords, and there's the world card. Some of y'all be happily single, stay focused, stay grounded, stay focused, whatever you need to do. The power of optimism with you too, moving forward instead of backwards. So, hmm. everything is punctuated with an ace card. So, you have all the answers you need to make the decisions you need to make. So, make smart choices. Is there a song for you on this, Sagittarius? Raindrops keep falling on my head. But that doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red. I can get no satisfaction. So those of you that's dealing with people that definitely... Sweet Jesus. A lot of failed relationships or partnerships here. So... Sagittarius, keep that in mind. Nothing's really changed. It's that the vibe don't work without you in it. So, you know, it's kind of like the, the seasoning on whatever the fuck this energy is. Now everything is just sort of bluff. It's bluff, Sagittarius. Mm. Take what's yours, leave what's not, Sagittarius. Good retrograde vibes, so be mindful of that. Pay attention to your favorite astrologer, whatever you pay attention to. Stay grounded, stay focused. Don't feel like that's your karmic energy. But don't get kind of caught up in sloppy energy around you. They're vibes. So the child, the grandchild, family member, friend, whatever, who's in and out of relationships or partnerships that always has drama, but they always go back into it. So, some of you be mindful of the attention seekers as well. No trauma bonding now, Sagittarius. Whatever distinctions, whatever separations that you've made. Because the tower energy isn't you. But something don't work without your sort of vibe. So, don't get taken advantage of. Just say no, right? Good luck. God bless, Sagittarius. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Peace, love, and light. Ring the bell, like, share, subscribe, Sagittarius.